welcome back for the second video about this article how to expose machine learning through an API made with Face API. But this time, uh, so the code is still available on my GitHub account. So this time we're gonna, we've been through the 17 uh, kind of Face API quickly made with chat GPT and some other stuff. And that was exposing Spacey NLP um, machine learning models. And this time I'm gonna show uh, a little bit more different and a more tricky one, but that shows them um, uh, how you can leverage on Fast API to back and to create a front end with Streamlight. I find this article, it was this one. So you have the 17 here and you have the nine. So it was this guy who has written and it's just a proof of concept that is pretty interesting because then you can imagine to create even for uh, the previous uh, API that I show, you can imagine to create a, a real front end uh, on the top of it, okay? So, and basically this is a very simple one, it's gonna make uh, like addition, subtraction and multiplication. So let's go directly. Uh, so you need to open uh, this one, which is the fast API and the second one, which is the Streamlight. So the reason why you will need to have, let's put it this way, we have two console. Let's say this one, so I have opened this first one. That is the blue one, I'm gonna send it, I'm gonna say blue and I'm gonna send it, I'm gonna use it for, so, sorry, to have. So I've already create a kind of requirement and an environment with an Anaconda, which will, is called Streamlight Fast API. So if I want to do the things by the book, I should deactivate, you see, and show you that I'm back in base. And this is the Anaconda stuff and see if I have all the environments. So in the previous video, we we're using nurse service. And this time I'm gonna use this one that I've created already. Uh, so I just activate it. I just leave like always the command inside. So I do it. I'm doing this and I need also the same environment, but this time I'm going to launch right here, the streamline application. So let's first launch and show how it's working. So you see, I have the name is called fast API. So that's the name of the file. And then that's the name. That's the way it works with fast API. That's the name of the app that I'm going to launch. If I do uh, main, for instance, it won't work. Okay. I can do it, but it's useless. Okay. So you have to be sure that the name of the file is correct. So it's going to launch right here and we're going to get there directly. And I have it here. So I'm going to open a new, okay. I'm going to put a new um, tab. Normally, ah, could not import fast API. Why? So I'm going to get there. Maybe I'm not right here. Check. Uh, yeah, normally it should work. I don't know, is that the demo? Yeah, it was, I don't know. Maybe I just cut and paste something wrong. Anyway, this time I will see. So you see calculate, and that's exactly what he's expecting. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And if we open the stuff, uh, you have, so I'm going to use instance this one because it's written and I hate paste, but I'm going to show you for instance, in addition, I'm going to try out. So you see that's only the documentation is already made with swagger. So let's say I'm going to do five plus five and it should be equal to 10. Okay. So if I take, for instance, uh, I can have. Um, well, let's say subtraction, I'm going to say, okay, 12 minus six and it should be six. Okay. So it's working. Okay. And by the way, if you need, if you like, you have exactly the same thing, but with a different 
uh, loader where you have the uh, requirement, I mean, the documentation, and you can also use it. But I don't know. I go for Swagger because I rather like it. And then I will launch on the second. So that was the blue one. Uh, we are in the blue console. And so it's still working. And then I need to put on the top of it my stream, well, the streamline application, which is not mine. <laughs> so be sure to be like in the correct OS. Apparently, I'm not. I'm not. Yes, because, oh, yes, I'm not because I made a copy and paste from the previous one, so it's not working. Okay, so I'm just correcting it. And then this time I'm in the correct. Uh, yeah, I'm in the correct. And this time I'm gonna launch, so it's a little bit different when you have to launch um, Streamlight, which is wrong, by the way, I have here, this is the command that I need to launch. I just correct my walkthrough. And this is, let's say, the black one. Okay. Oops, sorry. So I have this console with the blue with the fast API. I have this one with Streamlight. So I'm going to launch. So I'll be sure to be in the, I'm in the correct environment. And I'm going to launch Streamlight. So I have another, uh, which is DuckDuckGo, but anyway. I can work with that. But you see, this is, well, it's not pretty confusing. Let's say we have the application and then we have on the top of it, we have the calculator. And this time we're going to make it work. So let's say we're going to use addition and say 20 plus 10, which is 30. And you see that it's answering right here. Okay. And then you have exactly the same. So make, let's make a simple operation plus uh, addition. That should be 10. Okay. Let's say that should be 13. But then if I make subtraction, 3. If I make, for instance, I'm going to divide 10 by 2. Whoops. Oosh. that we should be uh, sorry that should be uh, division let's say division that should be five okay so it's very it's basically working and i can manipulate my api through this streamline so that's exactly what i wanted to prove so you can imagine that you can build uh, on the top of this fast api whatever it is any kind of application and Streamlight is a good choice, by the way. So I just cut it down by hitting Control C. And then also I cut it here. And uh, I'm going to come back for the third and last video that will be Cocky Cutter. Uh, that's a video that I, that's uh, sorry that's a project that I find on GitHub. Uh, what was interesting is that it has been made for Azure deployment, but I'm not going to deploy it to Azure. It's interesting because there was uh, testing inside, and that's a good way to explore how to test your fast API. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and uh, I'll be back in a minute for the third video. See you then.